to the to the beat song. Okay guys, we're back. We're gonna try to um, uh, complete Sexy Brutale. Sexy Brutale. Huh, my chatting is showing the full log. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it would expire after 30 seconds, so oh, I guess it does. I guess there's a bit of delay there in, the, in that chat team. But that's okay. We didn't post any secrets or anything embarrassing in there, so... Just a little surprised by that. Pick the better answer for which, I guess, is Kiwi's question. Uh, basically, Kovna and I were joking around about what the achievements in this game were like. Kiwi, how's it going? My day's been okay. Um, finalized the move, basically, I think. Um, so I can try to go back to my normal life. Um, I took the day off work today to, to take care of a few details, but uh, I'm going into work tomorrow. So hopefully everything is just normal life uh, moving forward. So if I remember, we just got the lockpick ability. And we also just got the, uh, the lighter, so we can actually light these candles now, probably. Work at the same place as Cotton Eye, right? Yes, I do. And actually, I just realized I don't have my chat thing set up properly, but now I do, okay. Yep. We both work at Amazon, basically. So let's, let's see if I can lockpick now. Uh, okay, press X to lockpick, I guess. A card. Okay. And otherwise, I, I think we're just walking around, maybe, to try to figure out what the next murder might be. What's this? Is that just telling me that there's a... Um, I think that's just going to tell me there's a, a circuit breaker, yeah. Okay, so let's just walk around, I guess. Oh. Is he gonna tell me that there's a circuit breaker? No, he's telling me they've been buggering about with the electrics in the basement. Oh, he did tell me about the circuit breaker. All right. I'm worried that the Olaf and his friend Red are in here. Yeah. I don't think there's any um, locks or candles in there, so I don't have to worry about that. Oops, I'm stuck at this table. Come on. There's, there's, there's a weird delay. Whenever I press like A to open doors, he doesn't actually... Um, Open it right away, there's like a delay. I was just thinking, does it show on the mini map where it might actually show? Yeah, there's like an icon for a treasure chest. Okay, so I can probably just look on the map to figure out. That looks like a treasure chest up there, right? So I can go there. Anything else? I don't see anything else here.
I remember. Okay, this way. Looking to affiliate. Yeah, the big one. What's this game about? Werewolf. Welcome to the stream. It's um, it's a murder mystery. Um. Wait, I thought there was a chest. Oh, maybe it's back here. Is this? Nope. It's a murder mystery. Uh, we're in this giant mansion, and people are getting killed. And um. And we have to stop them, and we have a time travel mechanism. So there's a there's a clock in the bottom right corner of the screen. It's it's a little hard to see when there's chat because that's where my chat appears. Also, oh, crap, somebody's walking into this room. Actually, let me show you. I can peek through the doorknob, and I can see what's happening in the next room. And you see there's guys walking over. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to hide. Oh, I can't hide once they come in here. So I'm just gonna have to run. Oh crap! And there's people here too. Maybe I can run this way. Get out. Okay, made it. Um, so yeah, these these people are like, you know, doing stuff or going through their daily lives or whatever. And some of them are gonna die, and I have to protect them from dying. Um, by and usually the way like the way that works is I I watch them die to see what happens, and then I rewind time, and then I do something to prevent them from dying. Wait, I can't leave this area because the door down is is red. So I guess I'm stuck here. Yeah. I see there's one room over here that I haven't explored yet. Maybe I can explore that. That must be it. I can't see anything else. I think we've we've explored every other room here, so it must be that just that one unexplored room. But Q, yeah, so um, 50 followers and, and three average years is also my bottleneck. Uh, Oh, it looks like there's a card in the fireplace. Nice. Does that mean I haven't ex examined this room yet? Alright, let's try this new door. Because for some reason we never opened it. Maybe it was previously locked. A mirror. Well, let's see the chest first. No, it's just an ornament. Um, okay. So it was in the mirror. So how the heck do I get out? If I can't leave through that bottom door. Am I screwed? Did I do the wrong thing somewhere? What abilities I get from new mass? Lock picking is the new ability I got from the new mass. And so I've been looking around for like treasure chests, for example, that I can lockpick. Oh, I just I just realized there's a trap door on the stage. Oh crap, I can't go in here because there's some people here already. Okay, get out. There's a trap door on on the stage, and it was locked. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to reset time. I don't want to wait for these guys. So let's reset time. Go back to the start of the day. Okay, so I'm, I'm waking up now to start the day. I guess it's noon technically. This guy resets to noon rather than to like midnight or whatever. But now if I just rush over... Should be able to pick the lock on this trap door. There's a little visual glitch there, but okay, so I, I, we made it, we're in the new section of the game now that we've never been to before. So let's explore around to see if we can, if we can figure out what we have to do next. We're basically, we're looking for a new victim, like someone who's about to die, so that we can rescue them from their death. We actually always had the picking through doors ability. I think you start with that ability. Oh. It's freaking dark here, what the heck? What the what just happened? That was weird. 
Was that a glitch? I don't know what happened there. Oh, we're back in the bar. Although we've never been in the in this back room before. We found the secret door to the bar. Oh, I think this is it. Lockpick is new, yes. So here are the two people who are gonna die. Thanos and Orum. And we're gonna have to save them. We're gonna have to prevent their death. So the first step is like we don't know where they are in, in this world, so we have to go find them. And then probably observe them dying. Um let me check my map. So surely they must be somewhere um, I haven't explored yet, or else I would have run into them already. And I don't think we've ra ever ran into those guys. So I'm going to try all the rooms I've not been to yet. Looks like there's one just north of me. And then we're going to try to, to find those people. Oh, let me use this thing. So if we light candles, we can see ghosts. And then we can talk to the ghosts once we see them. So let's talk to this guy, because it looks like he's blocking the way to this door. Music. So maybe, are you kidding me? Maybe if I stop the record play, that'll make something happen. All of the drinks here have an amazing name and have poison in it. Did I mention that? Sounds like an important detail that he did not mention. Look at the bar, friend. Every cocktail we serve here is made with a different variety of venom. Just a drop, mind you. But it gives a drink a kick like you wouldn't believe. The Marquis is a connoisseur, is a connoisseur when it comes to freaky drinks. All these creatures here, every one's venom adds a different flavor. And down the casino, the thing he's been growing there? I mean, wow, it's... Alright, I think you've had quite enough. Is he talking about the spider? There was a giant spider. Um, I, I think that was in the casino. If you don't know the password, you don't get through. I don't know the password. Alright, fine, so we can't go that way. Maybe this hallway over here? Come on, open the door. Oh, I think I can also shatter this, because I have a, a... I got an ability earlier about where I can shout to shatter glass. So this is also probably new. Okay, I'm gonna grab that card. I don't know why, but oh shit! Who is that? Not the person I'm trying to save, apparently. Because okay, on the bottom right corner, you see how there's two icons. They're they're like colored in. When they're covered in, um, it means they're still alive. And and their position on the clock is what time they will die at. So I don't know who died just now, but it's not the two people I'm trying to rescue. Yeah, when, when I say it's new, I meant like you don't start the game with the Shatter ability. It's, it's something we unlock by rescuing someone, basically. The door is marked with a teardrop it won't open. Okay, so I guess this was a huge dead end. So I guess we... We're not supposed to be here yet. Uh, where else can we go? We can go to this hallway over here, I guess. I guess the good news is we know um, 
We know where the last person is going to die, I guess, because we only have one more person that could die. We, we've... Where is it? Here, these are all the people we saved on, on the left-hand side. Can I use the mouse cursor? Yeah, okay, cool. So we saved all these people. We're looking for this people, and then there's this one. I'm assuming this is the last person we have to save before we beat the game, quote-unquote. And someone just died here. So I'm guessing that's who this person is. Um, so that narrows down our... They'll narrow down our search for the next part of the game. Oh. No. I didn't mean to walk in, no. But apparently it's okay. Um, but that's weird. Does that mean they walked in through here? I don't see them. Where's my map? Here we go. Oh, we can lockpick this probably. So this is part of the new place you have to go. I'm sort of like just quickly skimming through a text because time keeps moving even while I'm reading that text if you see the clock in the bottom right corner. So I don't want to spend too much time on, on the flavor text. But sometimes there's like items hidden in, 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 um, in some of these places so it's worth checking them. Wait, can I sing? It was right underneath the chandelier above. I'm worried someone's gonna stand there and the chandelier's gonna fall on their head and they'll die. Horror stories. Man, where where are these guys? They're gonna die soon, I'm running out of time. I still haven't found them. So this is kind of good. Um, the winding key lets me activate the clock, and the clock lets me choose where to respawn. I'm assuming I can't open this door, but let's just check. Yeah, okay. Oh, but I can look through it. Oh, crap. There's a guy coming this way. I leave. I don't think I tried this room yet. Through 14. Wonder if that's important. Oh, that brings down the candle. Now I can talk to the ghost. I don't know if I'll make it in time. I'm running, kind of running out of time here. And I still haven't found a clock for this area, so that kind of sucks. Because if I don't find a clock, it means time I'm gonna reset. Um, in a different room, and then I have to like do a lot of backtracking to get back here again. If I do find a clock, I can set my respawn point to, to be where that clock is. Right, let's try to talk to this. Oops, not the winding thing. Where's my lighter? Here we go. Let's try to talk to the ghost before time runs out. Oh yeah, and you see in the bottom right corner how their portraits become gray. That that means they're dead. Wait, what's that shelf there? Handwritten and push notes from some tarot, some chap, Da Vinci. That whole section over there. Some boring tit bang yawn about the Riemann hypothesis. They've cracked yawn. The book shelf in the back, pull the box like that, and shuffle my moves. Oh, hazard, huh? There's all the smuts, sir. <laughs> Where the illustrated geographical studies of this world tribes people. Where are the art books with the bosoms and the gentleman statues? I find the lack of good old fashioned obscenity to be completely indecent. 
I think I need a moment to myself. Is he talking about this bookshelf here? Uh, let me make it through in time. Please. Please. Find the clock. Where's the freaking clock? Let me get my key ready in case I do find a clock. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Activate, please. No, I didn't make it. Ah. But okay, so now we know what to do. We can come back. Yeah, the problem is I'm gonna respawn like yeah, all the way over here. So let me let me plan out the path. So down, left. Okay. Oh wait, no, not down. I can't go down because it's blocked. All right, trap door. Okay, trap door. Man, I'm so far away. But we got this, guys. We know, we know what to do now. I still have. No, I don't have the. I have to find the. Um, I think I have to find the clock again. I'm assuming it didn't actually trigger me winding the clock because I ran out of time before that happened. Just run past them. It'll be okay, hopefully. Get out. There you go. You don't care about that garden yet. There's somebody in here also, but I can probably just run past them also. This way. Pick this lock. This is what the heck is this? Oh, that's just a, a door. Wait, where am I then? Wait, did I know about this the whole time? Hidden passage. Secret passage. I don't remember this. Oh, is this the clock? Oh, so I did wind it. Okay, so I can just set this as, as my spawn point now. Okay, so I managed to wind the clock apparently, but I didn't set this as, as my spawn point, so now I've set it as my spawn point. Now we can take a look around for more clues. Heaven and Hell staircase. Oh, found a card here. There's someone in this room, so let's take a peek. I don't know who that is, but that's not who I'm trying to rescue. I had to save. Is it? I thought it wasn't. Oh, you're right, it is. Okay, so we should probably watch over that guy. <laughs> I only memorized the guy on the left. For some reason, I thought they would be together because I guess everyone else, they mostly stuck together, but this guy seems to be alone. So is he still in here? Oh, there he is. You sir, exaggerated looking at my watch, sir. Now, if you kind of excuse me. I have to pretend I have more pressing matters to attend to. Like a situation with the chimp pots in the guest room, for example. Oh, where's my superior? Perhaps helping drag your body out of the chapel. What? What did you say? Nothing, sir. Try not to die horribly while I'm gone. Good day.
All right, it's gonna be. Or, I mean, when you see the the green mask in the, I hope you're taking this seriously. When you see the green mask in the top left corner, that means I'm using my super hero, which is another ability that we got um, last night. Ooh, is this for the grandfather clock? Heaven and hell, wine and key. Oh gosh, I'm I'm. Um, the reason I'm, I'm freaking out or, or like reluctant or whatever is because there are slot machines all over the all over the um, 950s are the way we open. Okay, good to know. There are slot machines all over the, the building and I'm worried I'm going to have to keep pulling those slot machines until I get a pattern, you know, the pattern I want. Which I don't know if that's like all hearts or what. Like it's I see one green and, and three red, so I'm assuming the green one is good and the red ones are bad. And peek through, there we go. There's a secret elevator somewhere. What is that? Apparently, when the, the slot machine thing started rolling. Oh, I think I missed something. Whenever they have red text, that's something important. So I missed something important. <laughs> well. Oh, is he coming this way? I think he is. I'm gonna have to hide somewhere. Uh, crap. Maybe I can go through here. Who's that? Oh, that's the other guy, Oren. <sighs> he says they should match. So they're all spades except for one guy who's hearts. So I guess... I guess I should change the heart to be a spade instead. <laughs> okay, hang on. How do I, I gotta memorize that. Oh, man. Entrance hall. So he doesn't have the entrance hall one. So that's the one I gotta do, I guess. No, don't go in, it's a trap. Surely if the slot machines are not set properly. <laughs> what does this thing used to be before it was another? A furnace system, so you're gonna get burned alive, I assume. Yeah, you see the, the clock in the bottom right corner? They're about to die. So that's how they die. Oh. He just barely manages to open the door, but no, he dies anyway. Okay. So we need to... Can I search this body? 
So we probably need to go to the um, the entrance hall and and flip the switch for him. Where is it? Just over here, actually. about to reset. I want to try to... Oh, let me grab this. Oh, here. Uh, this is... This is locked. Crap. So I need a different path through. Um, I don't think I'll make it, so let's just examine some stuff quickly before we keep pulling. Oh, here's one of them. Okay, that's a spade, so that's good. Alright. So time's gonna reset. I lost that Keywinder to me. Because you don't bring items, unless you're like magical items or something like that, you don't bring items back with you when you when time resets. But if I just go to the hallway, which, what's the easiest path to that? Probably right up, no, right, right, up, right, down. That's probably the easiest way. So I just go right. Ooh, is that a card in there? No. Right, right. Up. Right. There's a guy in there back in front, just run past him. Where's the stairs? Wasn't it around here? Oh, it's not stairs, it's this door. Here. Okay, let me set this as my spawn point in case I need that mess up I need to come back. But all I need to do is make this say spades, I guess. There we go. That was pretty easy. So then I, sh I should be able to fast forward to 8 p.m. And then I should just be I should be to just go over there and watch them use the elevator and it should all work now, right? Easiest oh, card. Easiest save in the game, surely. And then we move on to the final boss fight, right? There's no way that any complication can occur or anything will go wrong in any of this. Now I'm a little bit lost. I can't go, I don't want to go to the right. I don't want to go to the right because that's where Orem is. So I'm going to go all the way left down, left down then right, something like that. Look, they're all, they're all spades. Surely all spades is the right thing. Maybe, surely when it's green, that's bad. And surely red is good, right? There's no way that he's got it backwards and I have to make them all green. That would just be ridiculous. It would just be so much more work, you know, to have to flip three statues instead of flipping one statue. <laughs> okay, so apparently that wasn't the right thing. So, does it show where the stat- oh, I guess maybe these are the statues, this icon here. So is that also a statue? 
I can't remember all the places he said. Am I missing one? I might be missing one, so I might need him to actually say it again and then I have to actually pay attention this time. Yeah, I might have to let him do it again and then I have to pay attention. Because I can't remember. Here's one of them. This is part of the piano room. The arm is missing? Are you kidding me? The arm is missing. <laughs> um, okay, this is going to get a little bit more complicated. How about the editors? Game too easy. Oops. How does how do I, how do I look through the people? Or can I not? Or do I look in from the other side? Maybe I look in from the other side. Maybe that's to let me look into the dining room. There's some wine key. Where am I? Let me memorize where I am on the map. Okay, so I can get the wine key here. In fact, maybe I can do it. I don't know. No, I haven't. There's no way I'm gonna make it in time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me. What do I want to check? I want to check if, as soon as the day starts, is that. Is the arm missing for there, or does it start there and then someone takes the arm? So I'm gonna try to rush for the um, for it. And I can't remember. I feel like if I go left, I feel like there's a one of the, the next door is blocked. So let's check that. Just yeah, that door is blocked. Okay. So I have to go up instead. There's a guy there, but we can just run past him. Oh, those are the two guys, in fact, that I have to save. So I just toggles between hard and spade, I guess. And it doesn't look like I can... Oh, no. It's semi-random. Maybe I'll never become hard again. Oh no, it does become hard again. Okay. okay. And I would, what I wanted to check is like, can I then remove the handle after it becomes hard? That doesn't look like that's the case. Oh god. Um. Okay, so I guess I have to go around. Looks like it's already missing. So maybe either I came here too late because I was goofing around too much, or the arm is already missing at the start of the day. Um, let me set up this clock while I'm here. So we have to find we have to find the arm. I don't really know 
where that might be. We can try looking at the various rooms. Um, that we haven't explored yet. The other thing that's lingering in the back of my mind is that the guy, Orum, I have to, I might have to like follow him around because what I don't want to happen is like I set one of the machines, I walk away and then he comes and he, and he pulls it again and then he's, you know, he unsets the machine, right? So, I might have to like follow him around to, f to see what order he pulls the machines in and, and use that information um, so that I can figure out what order to pull the machines in. that guy later. There's a couple rooms I haven't explored like down to the south from here. So that's where I'm gonna go check out first. To see if I can now Yeah, these rooms here. Usually I can't be in the same room as a guy, but I don't know, it seems like I can be in the same room as that guy, except now he's gone. This guy is here. How do I get there? But except for this room, which I can't remember how to get to, um, I feel like I've explored every room that I can in a mansion. What the heck is this? I see there's an unwound clock here. Where's my mouse cursor? And I don't remember that. I thought I did all the clocks. But I don't remember what room this is either, so... Oh, it looks like there's there's something here. Yeah, so what is this area? I don't 
really recognize it. Um, the other thing I'm thinking of is, is following Orum around to see to get the order in which he um, pulls the machines. Where are these masks? I don't remember seeing these masks either. Oh, are those bad guys? Like, I think this is the fish. I don't know what this is. Isn't this where she sings? This isn't this the piano room? I don't remember another guy being there. So much confusement. Confusion. Confusement. Alright, let's head back to the entrance and let's follow Orm around. So this is my spawn point. Okay, so let's just restart the day then. Then we'll follow Orum around. Try to figure out where he goes, what he does. It's still not good, but let's see where the guy goes. Oh, is he gonna give the password? What is he doing? He does get the password. God damn. It. Okay, so I need to stop the music. <laughs> so that I can hear the the password. I'm assuming the music's too loud, that's why I can't do the password. Man. This puzzle is getting more and more complicated. Oh, can I not go through this door? It's locked. 
Is that what that the pick lock ability? Apparently I, I can't pick lock that particular door. So what's the other entrance? Just right in the- okay. Rihanna went to Greedus Plan. I don't- I don't know the reference. So stop the music. And then... Is there a good place for me to hide? Maybe... Maybe I'll just go all the way around. At least I'll stop the music. You know, I was I thought there was a song called Please Don't Stop Music, but I was thinking maybe it was by Madonna. I might be mixing it up though. Oh shit, he's already gone. So he might have already started walking that way. I gotta make sure I don't miss it. Okay, he doesn't he's lighting the candle now, I guess. So let's use my super hearing. Wait! You didn't actually say the password. What the heck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did I miss it? Did I come too late? Because I feel like he said two things. But I only got one conversation this time. Or maybe I came too slowly. Um Let me just check what's what's up here before we reset the day. Oh god, there's a second guy here too. Where am I? Oh, this isn't where I want to go. Ah oh, crap, but I can't probably can't even go here. I want to go north, but it looks like there's no door north. Maybe it's it's a safe. Yeah, okay. Why would he tell him that? Where's this guy gonna go? Is he gonna go to the door I'm in? Yep, he is. Okay. Um, let's see here.
I snuffed it. Oh, I guess that's Orem. Let me out. Thing in the top right corner, isn't that just the, the secret passageway? The bar? Like that's the painting, right? That leads me to the other room. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about, Kothnet. Is this the first one he spun? Can't even tell. Assuming he went down, can I peek? Yeah, he did go down, okay. Did he only do one statue? He's not a very reliable friend. We didn't learn the password. Let's let's reset. I'm thinking maybe I need to remove the music and light the candle, maybe? I don't know. I'm kind of grasping at straws here. Come back, okay, sure. Now I know the password, nice. No, 
Oh, but there's a whole ghost bed in here. Her brother invented that. What were you saying? I'm not about to steal anything. The end is on no matter what. No matter what, it's a man you always play. Set many instrument that uh, hits Nelly. Perhaps it's a full blown barn stomper. Oh no, is he gonna pull the freaking arm? No, okay, good. What did you miss? No, nope, we didn't save him yet. We got the password. Um, 
We still haven't. F we haven't found the arm. So they're probably gonna still die. I don't know where the heck to get the arm. Candle trick work. Yeah, if you light the candle and remove the music thing. So does this guy just lie? Like, I don't think he ever actually... Orum never actually does this one. I mean, I didn't see him do it, and I, I followed him pretty closely. I did lose sight on him at some points in time. So he's there. He goes to the into the bar. I was too slow. Oh, so it does start with the thing there. Okay. And where's where's the nearest clock? Probably down there. So let's let's set that as my spawn point. Hey, big kid, how's it going? How's your uh, stream? You were streaming Atari games, right? If I remember correctly. Didn't. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all good, big kid. No worries. I don't know if um, this is a, a good game to like jump into the middle of anyway, you know, like it, I think it'd be pretty confusing if you didn't see the beginning of the game. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh shit, someone's coming this way, okay. So let's see what the heck does this guy do. I mean, presumably he just removes the arm. But then like, where does he put the arm? Probably where I have to set up the the um the curtains. Oh, there's no I can't look in that room. Shit. Alright, fine. Is that soon the nearest clock? I guess that clock up there is a little bit nearer, so let's let's switch my spawn point. Well that's good, I'm glad I'm glad your stream was fun, they they did. down and then right because I think if I go right I think the door down is blocked so down yeah it's always risky to play to do blind runs like sometimes the game ooh, there's people in here but I could probably just run past them actually I think this is the door I want to get to let me out yep. open these curtains it's always risky doing blind runs because you never know, like you might end up with like a game that just 
you know, it's a shitty game and you, you didn't know it was going to be a shitty game. In this room. Okay, I gotta find a place to hide. Maybe just here. Use my super hearing to figure out where the guy's going. safe now. Open this up. Alright, this in here. This is a dumb waiter these days. A dumb restaurant owner. Ha 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 ha. Even if you did know the statues all needed to be set to hearts, then the fossil wouldn't be able to do anything about it now anyway. Alright. We lost her. I know the magic could be low. Oh god, now they're gonna have a conversation. <laughs> It's gonna be a while before I can get to the freaking arm. I think I'm gonna have to do the piano one last because I think, like, from when he hides the lever, there's this huge long conversation and it's gonna waste a lot of time sitting here waiting for it to end. Maybe not, it seems like I still got a good, like, six hours to, <laughs> to retrieve the arm. Assuming I can just go in here and retrieve it, I don't know if there's gonna be more complications after this. That's really weird. I, I What's weird is that I pulled it once and it became heart. And the reason it's weird is because if I don't interfere with that and Aurum pulls it once, it doesn't become heart. I'm just gonna run past him. 
Oh crap, now I need the can though, so I can't just run past him. Can I grab the thing? I can't even grab that thing. So Orm pulls it once, and then I pull it three more times. So what I'm thinking is, can I pull it three times ahead of time, and let him pull the last one? Three earlier. Where am I? Where's the last one? Shit, I didn't do the, I didn't do the entrance hall I went. Oh wait, one of them is set correctly. So that is probably the one that, that he says correctly. So maybe I shouldn't touch that one. Oh wait, no, this is the one that I'm so confused now. Whatever. Just maybe I can make the piano one in time. It's gonna be tricky. I really hope there's not a red door here. I, okay, good. There was a red door, but not in the direction I was worried about. Oh god, where's my head? Put it in. Come on. Oh god, I don't have time for this shit. No, I didn't make it. Okay. So then... Um, what's the most efficient route? Maybe, maybe starting from the bar. Ah, oh, fuck this. This reach just warped to <laughs> the entrance hall. I'm putting at the entrance hall. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm confused by that one. Starts okay, and I don't think he ever touches it, so it stays okay the whole time. Oh, actually, I go back because that's that's where I'm gonna warp from. Spawn from, I mean, this clock here. So now this is my new spawn point.
Oh god. He's right there. Okay, let's just reset time. So I gotta rush in, turn off the music, light the candle. And then I want to test if I pull three times and then pull the fourth time, is that is that gonna set it up correctly? Like are the slot machines deterministic basically? No, not the record. Where's my lighter? one more time. And we'll see if it becomes we'll see if it becomes hearts. Too bad there's no fast forward button in this game. Can I use my super hearing from here? No I can't even use my super hearing. Well I can the icon shows up but I was hoping it would show me his position in the neighborhood one. So I guess I can just Oh, he's almost here. Okay, so hopefully he pulls it one more time and becomes hearts. Because if so, that means the statues, um, the slot machines are, are deterministic. So I, I know I can just pull three times and then leave, and, and when he pulls it the fourth time, I'll be set to hearts. If not, then it's, it, I guess they're truly random, and then I have, after he pulls them, I have to like fix them. Okay, so it looks like they're truly random, so I gotta fix them after he pulls them. Three pulls after him. Like no matter what, what I do, he pulls it. We're just gonna mess it up. Then I gotta pull it three times. I guess. Don't bother that this machine yet because he's gonna pull it later. for the, uh, the piano one. They're in there, but that's okay. I can just run past them. machine call it a couple of times maybe three times I don't know yet yeah three times okay and then there's that one last guy assuming nobody messed up the one in the entrance hall there's that one last one He's gonna pull and then I have to pull it three times after him. Right, where is it? Is it in the next room? 
there's an extra one. Sure, where is he? Is he anywhere even nearby? Doesn't seem like he's anywhere nearby. <laughs> so I have plenty of time. In fact, I have so much time. Let's go check on the entrance hallway just to be safe. Oh. You know what? I can just run past him. It's fine. Entrance hallway is good. Okay. Turn this room anytime now. Here he comes. Okay, let's get ready for the next room. Oh, here he comes. Let's hide in here. This one. When he leaves, I'm gonna rush in and pull three more times. saved them. It was that easy, guys. Aurum, you've done it. You're a genius, Aurum. The statue symbols, I don't understand. This shouldn't be the correct combination. I think maybe the marquee changed them. It's possible, but if that were true, then the ones I was working towards. Well, it's too terrible to imagine what could have happened. I'm feeling better than I thought I would. Maybe I don't need this mask on right now. Yes, I rather feel a weight has been lifted. What was that? The next power I'm hoping for is the ability to walk through mirrors. Ah, boom. Left Cadio, how are you, man? Did you did you do some of the elevators here? Had that was terrible feeling. Boom, would you mind terribly continuing our search for Lucas? I'm worried about him, but he is least likely to be offended when the concern is coming from you. That boy loves you, Laffy. Looks up to you, you know. Even with all this crazy riches, he still has a soul. Needs saving. Plus, his old fool here owes me a drink. And some staff members an apology. There will be zero apologizing. The sass on that young man. I tell you, in my day. Out of the frying pan. There's the naked lady again. Talos, this mask is your spoon. Tell me, let's go to yours. That's what I'm hoping for. Talos, architect, insect. The genius architect Talos Goreki had an unparalleled knowledge of the sexy motel. Visiting certain areas that match will trigger memories and reveal secrets, unlock new entries, and push her by using power in the proper peers. He knows more about this place than any man, except perhaps your Reggie. With that mask and Talos' knowledge, so much will be revealed to you. Talos' monument is your path forward, but he can also reveal so much about the mansion and the path you've already taken. You've opened a path downwards, but I want to thank you. There's something so precious down there in the dark. Come to find me. Does she mean use the elevator? Is that what she means by go down there? Looks like that is what she meant. Nice shadow work on the ground there. No, my record. To double check out the list there. <laughs> I 
Wait, is this a clock? This is this is itself a clock, interesting. Where am I? Where's the map? I'm in a whole new section of the of the uh dimension. Dang. Okay. Use a mask. What do you mean use a mask? How do I use a mask? I thought it said there would be a prompt. Use a mask at the clock? Oh. Damn, I missed that. Wait, what do I remember? It says I remember something, but, it, but I don't know what I remember. Or is it the brochure? I didn't mean any of these. I missed the beginning because it started scrolling immediately. Oh, I can scroll up. Oh, these are cards. Wait, that wasn't. So I don't. What did, what did the uh, what the heck did the mask remind me of? Whatever, I'll figure it out later. We probably will go for 100% later on. Uh, we're just doing casual playthrough for now. But I suspect once we finish the game, we'll come back and do 100% run. Yeah, the thing that's confusing is I like I don't know which of the memories I got on, were unlocked by the mask. But maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's just her backstory. Like it, Finish exploring this branch of the basement. So let's let's check out the rest of the basement. Man. Not making good time. I wish this guy could run faster. I think I haven't done this tour yet. I should just do down first because it looks like that's the shorter path. So there'll be less backtracking.
a dead like a tube, so I thought maybe I could sink to shatter it, but it doesn't look like it's giving me that option. Oh. Going this place is not like the rest of the mansion. This is where the Marquis keeps some of his most powerful secrets locked up tight. Behind the statue, I believe, is a door. You need to find a way to open it. If I can talk to him, if I can just see what... I can't stay here. Please, would help me see what's behind this door. Those two guys are watching me. The two, um... Psychomantises. Let's check up first. Which I assume this way is up. It's a ball to play, if only I had a ball. If only I had some balls, then I could play pinball. The hospital torture chamber in the room gleams with advanced technology machines humming in the background. There's no, something on the slab, the other person perhaps. There's heavy breathing and the other machines are forcing air into someone's lungs. At least once. I don't know if I remember it when, once I leave the room, though. Of course. It's never the one that's right next to you, it's always the one on the opposite side of the room. question is, is this going to reset or not when time resets? Oh wow, what the heck is this place? Why doesn't my mask have any memories of this spot? <laughs> okay. What does that look like on my map? Yeah. That's pretty accurate actually. <laughs> okay. So now... Theater. Yeah, oh shit, look at those guys up there. Is that a slot machine? The arm is missing. If only I still had the arm. Oh wow. Previous sim is false. Is this a ball? Turn to the empty 
take with you guys. Well, I don't have the boss I can play. Pinball, maybe. No. to read all these yeah okay all right so let's go back to the tree and let's see if the um, the surgery puzzle reset or not and whether or not it resets I probably want to go south to get the pinball first because the surgery room and the, and the pinball game are both in the north Looks like it stayed lit. Okay, cool. So I can just grab the pinball. Or do I already have it? I don't have it. Wasn't it right here? Oh no, it was in the room with the robot. Okay. My cat is scratching furniture. Whenever my cat does stuff, I don't know whether or not it's audible on the stream. Pinball, let's see, when, when you walk in, it's on the left, so this over here. Alright, let's do this. Pinball minigame, let's go. Uh, that was it. He's taller. So some of the stuff downstairs um quote unquote exists outside the flow of time. <laughs> the tree seems to exist outside the flow of time. The surgery room seems to exist outside the flow of time. How much time do I have? I have a decent amount of time. Okay, so I can try to go upstairs and get the arm and bring it all the way back here. Kind of a hassle, but I've got time to kill, so. I feel like I've already opened this, but let's just double check. There's probably a card inside, and I probably already got it. Yeah, okay. The music's getting intense.
Might as well set my spawn point here in case I mess up. In fact, I might as well just reset to give myself more time. So I'll just spawn right there anyway. I mean, don't think I'm gonna need the wire to get the, the slot machine handle. Oops, don't want a dead sign. I was thinking about that. I, I thought that'd be. I honestly did think that that was what the end game would be. Because I thought the last power you get was going to be to um, travel to mirrors. We, you know, like basically to let you go around faster through the level. Um, is there a place to hide in the dining room? Nope. And once you can, like, if you can go around faster, then you can save everybody, you know, at the same time. If you can teleport around. Use mask. You cut that. I'm not paying enough attention to the top left corner of the screen. Basically, as soon as he opens the door, I'm hoping I can just go in. Oh, that's not a different guy opened this, this door. Crap. One of the achievements is a zero damage run playthrough, and I keep taking damage because I keep trying to run past people. Play this whole section because it's quite a long walk and a bit of like sitting around waiting for things to happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like they make it very scary. Oh, wait, I think it's over here. They make it very scary at first, but like after a while you realize nothing bad actually happens to you if you just walk past them. And also the game puts a lot of like time pressure on you, so... I mean, I feel like that's the ultimate outcome for everyone. Like eventually they're all going to figure out, okay, let me just walk past the spooky masks.
they will all be masks. There's a movie called The Mask, and there's an anthropologist who talks about how everyone is wearing a mask all the time. And so Jim Carrey's character goes, you know, goes to him and, and, and talks about his mask, and the anthropologist is like, that, that was supposed to just be a metaphor, not a literal mask. Alright, let's do this. I'm feeling lucky. First, first go. Wait, oh, it turned into a door. <laughs> I was like, okay, now time to go to the tree, but then there's a door here now. I'm not done yet. Oh, wow, this is spooky. Why is there one flower that's different from all the other flowers like this? Red rock. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to read their freaking biographies. Or I can just look it up here. Clay Rock Ridge. Gold. That must be Aurum, right? Purple might be tequila or it could be willow. Maybe Grayson. Or is that red? Can't remember which one's which. Clay is the white one, not the not the gray, not the red one. Well, I solved it. Why would clay be gray? I don't get that. Whatever. The movie, The Mask, is like pretty much a kid's movie, right? Like, oh, there's still something else I have to do. I probably still have to water that tree. I'm trying to think if I want to play conservative or aggressive. Look at all those spooky guys up there. Let's play aggressive. The conservative thing that I was thinking of doing is, um, where am I? I'm here. Returning here and setting my checkpoint here, because otherwise, if I if I screw up inside here, I'd have to walk all the way. Like I set my spawn point to somewhere here. I don't remember exactly. You know what? Let's do the conservative thing. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to walk all the way back. I'm willing to guarantee walking a little bit in order to prevent the risk of walking a lot. Cards. You say you saw cards somewhere? I didn't see the cards. Maybe was it maybe where the tree was? Oh, the cards room. Nah. There's, there's no indication that the cards room is relevant at this point. I mean, maybe it, my guess is either something will happen, like the naked lady will come and tell me, or it happens when you've collected all the cards. Oh my god, 
when is he done to you? Not run. This this is Oh well, this is utterly tiresome. I mean, well done and so forth. You found my secret, etc., etc. I know it must look cruel chilling what appears to be a madman up in a dungeon. Using these mirrors to show him the guests being murdered over and over again. Tormenting him until his tears of sorrow and rage fill the tank that is his prison. But it's all very necessary, you see. Yes, I can see how you look at me, but... Boon, take this. Get out of here. No, no, I'd rather take not. Yes, that's better. I control every part of this world. This creature, however, is what you might consider the battery. He is my power source. The two of you were the only aspect outside of my grasp. But now I think it's time to end this. Not with a bang or a fanfare, but with a simple snap of my... What? How dare. Go. I got some sort of ring. My cat is very, very excited about the climax that's about to happen here. It's very much not over. Shape ring given to you by the bloody girl. Where's my map? Yeah, I can't remember where the door, where the door that says there's a ring on it is. I legit do not remember where that room was. And I kind of don't feel like walking around looking for it. So if you if if you if you guys remember, you can just state it, and I'll just walk there. Like, what is this region? I don't even remember what this is. Cemetery? Maybe maybe it's this one because I don't remember going there. Class. Oh right, the garden. Here, this is where it is. Okay, thank you. Uh, I don't think I can take the elevator up, right? No, I can't. Alright, so we gotta walk all the way around. My cat is cheering me on. Uh, Kotnat says he loves you, cat. She loves you. Kotnat says she loves you, cat. I said he earlier. Because I was thinking of the gender of my cat rather than the gender of Kotnat. Just assuming your gender, I'm, I'm asserting your gender. Let me sit crap right this class before he walks in. She doesn't notice if I just use her voice to.
doors reacting to the murky cement ring. Wow, this place looks bad. I don't want to advance time. I want to. I want to set this as my. As my spawn point, though. I wish I could load the this is fine dog JPEG like right here right now, but it's probably a lot of effort because because I would probably have to um, like all tab out of the game and and all that. If only we were here earlier. If only we had a time machine, all our problems would go away. because it's trying to load the next room. Like every time I, I, I press A, it's loading the next room and then it waits until it finishes loading before. It lets me actually go through it. Maybe that's why I feel like there's the guy always just stands there for a few seconds before he actually walks through. The thing is I have, I think I have like, I can't remember if it's 16 or 32 gigs of RAM on this box, so I feel like it should be able to just cache the whole game into RAM. Something seems to be bothering him. So it's like up to you, you know. I know he teases you dreadfully about your lifestyle. But he respects you enormously. More than anyone else I know. I believe he's always wanted to be more like you. Perhaps when he's a little older. Or more mature, I should say. Oh, you have our ring. Can I see? you presenting it to us when you married us? When I married both of them? You must take it. Lucas will be missing it, I'm sure. Tell him I just need a rest. This little guy is heavy. I hope he won't be mad that I'm missing the party. He knows... I know he loves the mansion, but this is all we've ever really needed. This right here. This is our perfect little world. So is she saying that I married her and her baby? Is that what she means by you married us? This right here is our perfect world. Please tell him I will wait for him, won't you? I'll be right here whenever he is ready. you propose to an unborn baby? Oh, it's the other naked lady. That was Eleanor, the Marquis' wife. She's always here, safe in this place. You've seen some of the truth now. The mansion was on fire. We, the guests, died. It should have ended there. But that creature in the golden mask, somehow he brought them all back. Torturing us over and over. I tried to help them, tried to find some peace in all of this pain. He is so, so strong. But with that ring, I believe you can stop him. There's a secret place, my hunk, I mean sixpence was so close. Take that ring to the room where Orum died, it will unlock the path. I literally left her mask for you, take it. 
Is this one let me go walk through mirrors? Because there's a mirror in this room, so that would be very convenient. Yep, there we go. Another room was a life and soul that connected the people and places in the Sexy Brutale. Her master likes to travel is stepping into mirrors place throughout the mansion. You can now walk through any mirror in Sexy Brutale. The movements of all staffing guests have also been revealed to you on the map. Yeah, it's a very exciting cat. We're almost at the end game. She tried so hard to see the best of people, but it's what you see that will matter. Now look into the mirror. Sure, where's her rage impotently, or just be quietly glad. Anyway, I've watched you laugh, Cadio. Your arrival was somewhat unexpected. All these years you've done your dutiful loop, dying along with the six with six pence in the chapel. Then all of a sudden one day you're running around ruining everything. It took me a little while to figure it out. And then of course I knew that bloody creature had to be involved. I'm sure she has spun all the tales about me and what's happened here. I'm sure they have left out some rather important information. I will be utterly candid with you now, Bowie. I could end this right now. I could end you. I have the power. Perhaps she's right, and I am a monster. But we might as we might all be monsters here. I want you to see, to understand. Come with me. Marley, the bad guy and I, we are not so different after all. I'm going to come to understand his point of view. Now the first question is, am I really a murderer? But to that, the answer is most assuredly yes. You see this man here? The original. I killed him, stone dead. It wasn't my finger to put the trigger, but it was my command. Family as well, you know. scenario I had him die from a shot of venom from the same spider which would go on to devour his precious wife. He did like a drink clay but you never but never when he was working you know. Wait but all the glasses are full. I thought he only died when he drank the red glass which was the last one. nothing could possibly grow that big, but by gods, I wish it did. I would have kept it in the room, just like this one. What happens when you type giant spider into Amazon? Into the search bar. You can't imagine the terror she must have felt down and thread and waiting for her the end. A creature from a nightmare. I mean, it's that time of year. This one was rather fantastical. When we found a fish, I did so want to believe the story is a voodoo fish. I rather suspect it was just a guppy with some particularly bright colors. The man who sold it to me must have thought I was the most colorful person under the sun. But I wasn't paying for the fish, I was paying for the story. Eleanor called me a fool, but she did love to watch him in his tank. 
the best fortune I ever spent. I'd like to say that Willow would never have hanged herself, but then a long time ago I stopped even trying to pretend I could understand what another person might do. Willow's face is uh, contorted in agony. At one point you thought this creature had the answers, but he's just a fiction, a lucky man. Kila Bell with a voice. She was a living work of art. I murdered her with the notes of a song and then had my staff throw her body down the garbage chute. The staff member appears to be taking care of the pride in the card she's created. Tequila bleeding to death from deep lacerations all across her body. I feel like this doesn't really help me understand that, that guy's viewpoint. Like, it's not making me empathize with a bad guy very much here. Listing all the people he killed and how Lily cares about them. Grayson Red. It really wasn't a party until those two got here. Grayson really is such a complete scoundrel, but my god, he's fun. Or he was, at least. Red really would have done anything for him. I'm almost certain it would be so much more painful if Grayson had gone second and Red had to watch him die first. Yes, perhaps I'll change this one. What kind of me I can manage to start shooting that this way? He gave his own life to try to save Grayson. had many strange and wonderful creations, but they lifted a double dozen incinerator, that would have been something. I like to think if Aura were able to choose how he went, then perhaps he would have chosen something like this. Do it the way he almost did. before he burned to death. Thanos, what a mind to waste. It wasn't just his mansion that he built, you know? There are similar works of architectural genius all over the country. He was a grouchy and often tiresome old man, but that mind was like a cracked diamond. At least his works will live on. Well, Bloom, you've heard my confession. As I said, I am a murderer. This is not a brand or boast. I am not good or cut for it. I am sinful and gross. I've killed everyone in this mansion. There was one person who didn't die. This beautiful golden elevator is a connection between the horror upstairs and the madness down here. Thousands body is charred to a prison and the furnace cooked him through. Who survived the events of the day here? Who woke up in a broken body with a broken mind? They put a mask on his face and the machine forced him to breathe until he was fit to stand. If what the man in the gold mask says is true, then the mask is a breathing aid? Who were the staff here? Is there a second interaction point? Every other, inter every other room had two interaction points, but it looks like this one only has one. Serve this time, but time that could never be enough. Or was in the cell. They must have been here for years upon years for a tree to grow this large. A man who lived when all the others did not. I would like you to meet that man, Moon. I would like you to meet him and then decide if this day should end. I'm pretty confident I feel like this day should end. <laughs> the Griffiths marked Eleanor, you know, somehow that the grave is real. She is here. 
Crib is for Lucas. It was empty. The answer will be behind these doors. Come and find me there. She and I will be waiting for you. So I feel like this is the game's way of telling me um, if you want 100% completion, do it now. Because once you go through that door, there's no going back. That's my guess. Do I want to do 100% completion now, though? Or do I want to do it later? story. Alright, fine. Where was that room they even showed me? Was it here? No. Was it that? There's a bunch of rooms there that I haven't been to. I think it's this. I think this is the room he was talking about. Okay, how do I get there? Upstairs around the bell tank. Okay, so where am I now? Well, I can go upstairs from here. Oh! It's right here. Thank you, got that. Oh god, but now this guy. So now I have to wait for this guy to leave before I can. But look how long it takes me to walk up the stairs. But wait, is this the... Yeah, this is that part. So then, before I leave, why don't we just check out these rooms since I never had a chance to check them out. And I want to see how the mirrors work. Just sends me like to one specific other mirror. It doesn't let me choose any other mirror in the house. So I'm not going for 100% here. I just want to explore the rooms I haven't tried yet, and then once we've checked out all the rooms that are easily accessible to us, we will go through those. Some tea for me, also. Shit, I, I can't. Oh, I can use a mirror. I saw a circle around. Okay, so even if there's a guy in there, I can still use a mirror. So now I'm back to heaven and hell, which sounds like uh, something out of uh, what's it called? Guilty Gears. I like lots of milk and sugar in my tea. If you're making some for me. Alright, I guess we'll go through the doors. Because I think we finished exploring the map.
Oh wait, I can examine this room. If only Cutnet were here to remind me to check the rooms. Where am I? I'm in this section that we never understood. I was in Okay, I probably want to go down and, and set up that clock. Yeah, I, s I said... What did I say? <laughs> I don't remember what I said. I said, if you're making tea for me, I like sugar and milk. And then I said, if only Cut and I were here, um, to remind me to check the rooms with my mask. Saying, excellent, so you can just make one batch for both of us. Two sugar, two milk, sounds fine with me. Double, double tea. I don't know what that means. That means you put two tea bags in there or something like that? Or do you put four tea bags? Do you mean double, like you double it and you double it again? Oh, almost forgot to use my mask here. Thank you, Cutnet. You're back from dinner. We're just about, I, I, I believe we're just about at the end of the game. Kiwi, I, I don't know for sure, but I feel like we're near the end. So we talk at last. It's been a long road for you. I'll have to come back here, take this, and I'll play on. Okay. An invitation. Two sugars, two milk, you off Canadian. I mean, I stopped in Canadian when uh, when Twitch removed the uh, the tags, right? I don't really feel like searching this whole place for all the treasure, so let's just shatter the glass here. Why is there a giant pulsating mask in the top of the corner? That's not the. Is that telling me to inspect the room? Mask at bullet room. But like, what's what's with this mask? Oh, is that because of the candle? That must be it. That's the golf girl's thing. Okay, let's just move on. Well, fellow moon, please come join me. to save now or what's happening? No, we saved everybody and then we met the guy who's killing everybody. He has like this gold skull face. Yeah, it's this guy here. And we're talking to him. I cannot control you. I cannot make you part of my world, not truly. But perhaps once you see, you will decide for yourself whether or not this world is the right one for us. This is Lucas Bonds, the Marquis of the Sexy Retail. Lucas, my Lucas. I have brothers all here to judge this man, or rather to sentence him. His guilt is not questioned. You understand, please. This good man. We shall see you. We will watch carefully. There's time, still plenty of time. Six expenses, calculations after all. The explosives are all prime, everything will go off at once, the stroke of midnight. A garden full of my guests, safety outside my den. And a garden full of witnesses to clear me of any wrongdoing. It's risky. But insurance. It's a new life for Eleanor and I. 
something a little less extravagant this time. I'm afraid I'd rather lack your finesse. I don't want to see this. You'd be very disappointed with chap. You'd have done a much neater and smaller job. But where am I? I think I must have left him in the other room. Yes, turn, you turn your face away. How easy for you, how easy to look the other way. I am the one who has to keep everything together. Is that perfect? No. This is what is right, the closest to right that we deserve. Please, he's a good man. My beautiful mansion. I will miss you so dearly. But you are also a gamble, and not one that has paid off. This house is not always winning, and you are a luxury I can no longer afford. Send the cash in the check. What was that? Oh my god, no. Fire. It's a theater, but how? The casino, no. Did I do something wrong? No, how can this be happening? I have to get out. Ellie. Ellie. No. God, what have I done? Oh, that was a guy. Maybe. That keeps falling into the garden. He survived that fall. A little bruise, somewhat broken, but he lived. And there you have it, Green. This man set a fire in his own mansion for nothing more than insurance. I guess in the mansion they didn't truly die to giant spiders or demon fish or crushing cages. They died in the fire that this man set. I've kept this mansion running, embellished the deaths, added some flair, but this is the man truly responsible for the deaths of this mansion. This isn't everything you don't know. It is more than enough. We will wait though. If you can figure out if you wish to save this man, then go ahead and will not stop you. So I guess we do have one last person to save. Can I go here or is it gonna no it's gonna freak out? There is a moment where he leaves though, so maybe I can do something then. Dang it, Cotton that said what I was thinking. I don't remember if she said first or if I saw it first. Okay, a whole bunch of interaction points, let's see here. Father for practice. Crowd, damn it! Does he leave again? I can't remember. I think he does leave again.
So we synchronize ourselves with a clock on that thing. Which I think means when we reset time, we're gonna spawn wherever that clock was, like in the other room. I don't think he leaves the room again, so I think this is it. I didn't get to look at his desk. Really, my god. Uh, I can't move. I think we can forgo having the mass chase you boom. There's no need for that anymore. Not here. Fcadio, what are you doing here? Please, you have to leave. This, I can explain it better. I don't imagine I need to. So sorry, my friend. I should have told you, but can you be rather proper? But you can be rather proper, no? I'm going to bring this place down. I know I love this place, it's everything. But I love her more. We have a child in the way, you know? And this mansion at cost, it's your drain of it. I'm not the young, workless gambler I used to be, Laffy. I thought you'd be proud. I've locked those demons up tight. No more chasing the high stakes for me. Although I will admit this plan was somewhat thrilling. But I timed it so that everything would detonate once everyone is safely outside. There is one of these devices in every fireplace, and the fireplaces are all connected. But no one will be hurt. But then the letter saying this wire here was cut. And I've just noticed a rather terrible mistake. I think if it hadn't been cut, then everything would have gone off early. Can't imagine what would have happened. You see, he never meant it. He never meant anybody. Please stop this torture. Elder, is that you? Ah, oh, it's the naked lady. No, no, he did not intend, but he acted. And they died, they all died. He killed them, Boon. He killed everyone he ever cared about. His friends, his own wife, his unborn child. We don't deserve to be forgiven. They don't deserve to be forgotten. Don't you see, Boon? This is how I kept them alive. This party this day, this party this day. Keep that agony fresh. I see their faces, I remember them. She wouldn't have us forgive ourselves. She would let us go, she would have you live. I am not ready, I will never be ready. Please, Boon. Everything you see in this mansion is the memory of a broken man. A reliving the nightmare of the night he murdered everyone dear to him. One terrible act that he has wished he could take back every second that he has lived since. There's only one man responsible for everything happening in this mansion. Lucas. me the whole time. Time. 
It's been more than 40 years, Lucas. You punish yourself long enough. You almost die when you fail. Then it's been like you stayed alive just to make sure you suffered. You were hospitalized, near dead. You went to prison. This it wasn't enough. You've suffered and missed us every day. We aren't here to forgive you, Lucas. You will never have that. We are gone and we cannot say the words. You can never know if we would say those words. As much as you have hated yourself, you have always known one thing. In your heart of hearts, you know that I would not have wanted you to suffer forever. One day, enough and it would be enough. Today can be that day, Lucas, if you want. If you're ready, you don't have to forget. You only have to forgive yourself just enough to live. His very appearance is painful for me to look at. Just as my appearance is painful for you. He is the king of this mansion. He is perhaps the purest glimpse into your soul, my love. Frail, ragged, alone, but beyond powerful. Enough rage and pain and grief to destroy and rebuild this mansion a hundred thousand times over. Trapped down here watching his friends wear it over and over and over through these mirrors, he is king of this mansion by the puppet king. It's time to release him from this torment. Take your mask, Lucas. They will return every aspect of yourself. Then let us go. Let us all go. It doesn't mean you forget. I love you. one other option. Walk away. Use the watch. Turn back time and let the party start again. We will all be here. Your friends will be here. Your mansion, your memories. You don't have to let them go. It's your choice. <laughs> what? <sighs> Does Twitch chat feel strongly one way or the other? I'm leaning towards no. Unless someone really, really wants me to say yes. I'm giving a bit of delay time for the chat. Moral choice. Okay, I'm going with no because I don't see activity in the chat. This place is yours, Lucas. It is horrible and broken and twisted. You don't have to be a prisoner here. I love you. I love you so much and you love me. I know you're sorry. I know it's not enough. But it's done. Let's have the pain go. Live your life. Goodbye, my love. Looks like I'm... Wait, why would I have to lock the guy up if the guy was me? I could just, you know, not kill the guy. Thank you, Kiwi, for the compliment. Goodbye, my love. Whatever I am, I'm always here. Visit if you want, but don't stay too long. It's time to make new memories. Time to live the life you still have. It's a metaphor. I thought we were wearing literal masks that literally give you magic powers. Time to move on, old man. GG.
Thank you for the GG's. Um, Kiwi. Uh, the ending, I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of the ending, but I, I wouldn't say I hate it. It's. I, t I think it's. <laughs> I don't know what else they could have done. It's, it's sort of like. It's always risky when you do a time travel story. Or a. Um, or it, like it was all in. I was gonna say it's all a dream, but you know, it was all in his mind, which is basically it's almost the same thing as it was the whole thing was just a dream type story. Actually, never rated someone before. I, I guess I could probably give it a shot. So, what happens when I say game? I, I, okay, so I can continue and I can do the 100%. I don't have to like start all over, it looks like. So what are we missing in terms of achievements? 83, isn't that exactly the same? Yeah, 15 out of 18. I think, Cotnad, you and I, we probably have the same set of achievements. And the <laughs> achievements that we're missing are hidden. But if I had to take a wild guess... How do I get out of this? If I had to take a wild guess, it would be get all invitations, get all cards. So... Probably end this stream here for now. Um, and I'll probably do a 100% stream next time, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow evening, around the same time. So yeah, that was that was sexy brutal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, And yeah, I guess I'll end the stream here. Let me. See. How do I do a raid? Do I have to stay on Twitch to do that? If I type this, let's just do it. That does that. Okay. So I'm doing a Twitch raid. So if you're watching this on on YouTube or something else, I guess nothing is gonna happen for you, and the, and the stream will just end. But um, but yeah, so thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you guys next time.